Assalamu alaikum. Located two miles from Disneyland, Little Arabia is a destination for many Arab Americans and tourists to go. The long strip of shops and restaurants along Brook Horse Street between Crescent and Catilla, Little Arabia provides an escape for, to a Middle Eastern culture. The culture is visible by the flags that re represent Iraq, Egypt, Palestine, and other Middle Eastern countries. This community started when people from the Middle East started to build their businesses in Anaheim in the, 19, in the 1980s to bring a part of their country to, to the United States. Now the, young, now the younger generations have picked up from where their past generations left off and make Little Arabia expand by using social media to attract Arabs and non-Arabs to the community. Little Arabia is now a gathering point for many celebrations of the Middle Eastern culture. Or worked in the area? Seven years. Seven years. Uh -huh. Okay. And did you open this store or did you buy it from somebody? No, we opened it. You opened it? Oh, okay. And what kind of changes have you noticed in the area over time? Um, there is um, a concentration of um, people from Arab countries and mm -hmm. Islamic countries been moving to this area over, it's been continual over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. So based on that, the last seven years have have we, we have witnessed more people come oh, and live okay. around here okay. and shop around here also. So the numbers um, of people, Arab people, are growing? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, so why did you choose to open a shop here? Why did you choose to work here? Very interesting, very interesting question. Mm -hmm. I am actually an accountant and a finance guy. Oh, okay. So it's it's not my area of expertise or, or something you wouldn't have think that I would start in. Yeah. But what happened is uh, my wife is American, mm -hmm. born and raised here. I'm from Egypt originally, and mm -hmm. I moved here, uh, you know, a long time ago, but still all my culture is Egyptian culture. Mm -hmm. And she converted to Islam. So she wanted to uh, dress conservatively, mm -hmm. according to Islamic values, which is you co you wear stuff that has two characteristics, which is not is not uh, transparent, mm -hmm. and it's not describing the body, so it's kind of a little loose. Oh, okay. So she could not find uh, from what from the available fashion what fits this characteristic. In the same time, fits her as an American mm -hmm. cultural background, which is like jeans and. Pants and you yeah. know, the other, the other uh, in the Middle East, they wear just a dress, just uh -huh. a long dress. So uh, she struggled a little bit finding what she's looking for. She used to shop for hours at Macy's and, and whatever other, you know, normal department stores, mm -hmm. and come up with one piece that fits this characteristics. So we thought like uh, there's an opportunity for her and for other people, second generations Muslims who you know, grew up here, Americans in culture, and uh, these clothes does not fit them either. Mm -hmm. So we started our own fashion line, which is al Fera. Fera means happiness, uh -huh. and Al is because um, this is like, um, like the in Arabic, oh, okay. is the uh, mm -hmm. So we started and been growing over since, designing our own stuff, manufacturing it, you know, growing little by little. Mm -hmm. you know, it's still a family-owned business. Yeah. And uh, we we had smaller store for the last five years, and we moved to this bigger one two years ago. Okay, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so the ones, like, up there, mm -hmm. would you wear those for special occasions? Mm -hmm. Like... What kind of occasions? These are weddings, parties, oh, okay. or if you have like a party in your house expecting people to come over, it's not to be dressed really in the streets, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No one did like two hundred dollars. Yeah, they're um, really nice. I was like, I don't think these are for every these day. These are handmade right? actually. Oh, uh, yeah, really? Not, somebody actually put one bead by one bead wow. to make this dress. Get a little closer.
the Quran is Muslims' version of the Bible. It is very important in their culture because they take it as God's commands for them. In the Islamic religion, Muslims are supposed to pray five times a day so they can have a spiritual connection with God. We visited the olive tree, the highest rated restaurant in Little Arabia. We ate falafel, chicken stuffed with rice, on the side with yogurt, cucumber bites, and whole fried fish. I'll tell you that supermarket was a small and busy grocery store that had an assortment of Arabian foods and snacks. The culture came alive by the authentic smells and aromas that came from the foods which created a unique experience for outsiders not used to the Arabian culture. Hookah is a big part of Little Arabia and there are smoke shops on nearly every corner. This is what attracts many tourists to the area because hookah is a social experience that is becoming more popularized. At the end of the day, we said goodbye to Little Arabia, feeling more educated and more enlightened about this little slice of a new and different culture.